This is a case study. We ain't on the fuck shit no more. We're gonna teach you some history. Today, we're taking it all the way back to 2004, where Ronald Reagan died. You bet he fucking did. George W. Bush got re-elected. He didn't die. And Janet Jackson has nipples. In a footballing context, the underdog took over Europe. A young and humble, well maybe not humble, Jose Mourinho took his Porto charges to the European elite. They had won the UEFA Cup previously, but this is a whole different kettle of fish. The Champions League, the European Cup, El Big Ears, and this is how they did it. They started in a group, Real, Madrid, you know, the Galacticos, big boys, Partizan Belgrade, who had players, and Marseille, who, uh, who also had players. But it's the next round, Manchester United. You know, it had only lost one group match, and they were looking formidable. Porto? Don't mind that. Don't mind that. 2-1. 2-1. At home. First leg. But then what happened? Boom. Paul Scholes. Making it 1-0. And that would send United through on away goals. You know what happened then. Last minute. Fucking Castigna. Dining on that goal for the rest of his bleeding life. But the next round. They face. Olympic Lyonnais in the quarterfinals. A fancy French outfit, you know, with the likes of Janino and Peggy Lyondula. First leg, 2 0, Porto. All they gotta do is ice it back at the Stade Gerland. What happens? Manish after six minutes, forget about it. Even Peggy Lyondula score, but it makes no difference. 2 all in the Stade Gerland, and it's semi finals now. Super Deporto. Deportivo La Coruña. It was a tough tie. Valeron, Tristan, Luque. Jesus. That's a who's who of top drawer early 2000s talent. Portugal. Nil nil that winner. But it's up to the 60 a minute point in the Riazor. Pelanti. Dare lie. You know, had to be. The hero of Seville the year previous. In a battle of wits with Hendrik Larsson, he was the one who arose victorious. Like, thank you, my man. For scoring goals. And he did. 1-0. Aggregate. Who's going to Gelsenkirchen? Porto are going to Gelsenkirchen. And you know what? Who's coming with them? That boy Hugo Ibarra. Because he's out there scoring an epoxy goal to send Monaco through. Oh, yeah. So there we have Porto, Monaco, Deschamps against Mourinho, Gelsen, Kirken. And you know what fucking happened then, didn't it? Three zip. Three fucking zip. Carlos Alberto, Deco, Eleni Chev. Even Eleni Chev got on the fucking score sheet. Forget about it. Monaco never even came close. Flavio Roma. Flavio asked me how Patrice Evra before he turned into a dynamite fucking left back that loved to kick fuck out of his own fans. Fernando Morientes couldn't do shit up against Ricardo Carvalho and Costa and played Nuno Valente. Forget it. Forget it. Three zip. Champions League. The second European Cup in the cabinet for Porto.